This is an INEB, it's a nebulizer, electronic machine, uh, which converts a, a small amount of liquid drug into a fine mist. The scientists involved in the trial claim it could be a game changer, a drug known as SNG001, an inhaled formulation of interferon beta, is administered with this device, a nebulizer. It's early days, but the first tests have shown the treatment prevents COVID-19 from advancing in 79% of cases and also helped speed up recovery. This is crucial as it can prevent patients from needing intrusive mechanical ventilation in intensive care. If we could see the drug effectively reducing the risk um, in a larger population of going on to a ventilator, it does alter the whole dynamic. It alters the likely outcome for the patient, it alters the burden on the health service, it alters the duration of illness and it alters the risk ultimately of dying. We've got an early signal of that and we need to pursue that further to see if that's going to be a useful way of treating the disease. SNG001 is administered directly to the lungs via a mesh nebulizer. It gives the patient a concentrated dosage of interferon beta, a naturally occurring antiviral protein which COVID suppresses. Interferon beta triggers the production of antiviral genes and proteins which neutralize the virus. It also helps cells by boosting the immune response, preventing further infection. Together, it appears to prevent or diminish further cell damage and viral replication. So far, the trials have been small. 101 volunteers, all suffering from COVID-19, who'd been admitted to nine UK hospitals. Half the patients were given the drug, the others were given a placebo. The results of the trials have not been peer-reviewed, so there are still question marks over what the scientists working here have found. But if interferon beta does do what the company says, it will be a significant advance in the fight against the coronavirus. Professor Stephen Evans says the results are encouraging, but there's still a long way to go. It's promising. If what we think we've seen now proves to be true in large numbers, then it's very important. But we ought to be cautious. We ought to be British and not go overboard in saying this is the answer because we simply do not know yet. The scientists certainly still have plenty of work to do. Bigger trials subject to approval from medical regulators could take place soon. The hope is in the event of a second wave of COVID infection, the medicine would be widely available. Alex Rossi, Sky News, Southampton.